traders and welcome back. In this video, we would like to detail to everybody how to connect and disconnect from your data feed. Now, to, to connect to your data feed, I have my control center goes up in the charts, which I'll move around for you to make sure very, very clear. All we want to do is to connect to our data feed is we want to go to this little icon here called connections. Now, when we push on connections, it's going to give me a list of all of the accounts that I've currently got established on my computer. Now, for the purpose of this exercise, as we're going to be connecting to my funded account. Now, many of you out there will know that we do actually have a capacity through a corporate partner to fund your trading. I've actually gone through that process myself. The process has gone very, very well. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is connecting to the funded account, right? So all I do is I click on that. And in a perfect world, what's going to occur is there's going to be a large list of funded accounts here as ultimately we want to focus down here on the little green dot. That little green dot means uh, and that little tune that you actually heard in the background there means that I've connected to my data feed. You'll see the charts are resetting. The indicators are cal calibrating, doing what they need to do. And ultimately, we've ended up with effectively charts running in the background. Now, one thing I will note is which is really, really important. Even though I have connected to the data feed, many of you might come down to the bottom right hand corner and say, well, Lockie, it says here bar time and disabled since the current time is outside session time or chart end date. 100 percent correct. Now, why is that occurring? Why is that is occurring? Even though I'm connected to my data feed, the stock exchange in this case here, the Chicago Mercantile Exchange is currently closed. Right. So I'm recording this video for you on a Saturday when there is no data feed. Now, the beauty of that is if you happen to be doing some work on a Saturday and you think, oh, I might just go and check the charts and see what's going on. Please be advised that once the US markets close on Saturday morning US, uh, US time, then clearly the data feed is not available. OK, so you might see that little error message pop up in the bottom right hand corner. As in later videos, I will be connecting to the data during live market hours and you'll be able to see the difference. The difference being the little green dot will be up in the bottom left hand corner of the control center and the error message in the bottom right hand corner of the chart will not be there. Now, in saying that, guys, how do we disconnect from our data feed? Very, very simple. All we do is go, we go back to our connections. OK, just there. We click on that left click. We come to this option. Naturally, I've called it my funded account, which is a pretty simple way to know that it is a properly funded account. And all we then we come across here and we disconnect. OK, what you'll find is that the little green dot will disappear down the bottom left hand corner of your control center, meaning that you have disconnected from your data feed.